Alrighty, welcome on back to the channel, everybody. You know where we're at. Just woke up out of the truck here, getting a little coffee, and it is it's time to, to go hunting again. Uh, this time, I'm gonna be trying to get my dad on a deer. Now, if you guys watched the last, last video, I got an awesome deer from the back porch, one I'd been scouting out for a while, thought it'd be a great deer to take big body deer um weighed him he was he was big for out here and there was a big old 10 point that is hanging around this area as well i thought we might get a glimpse of him we did he came into the frame right as i was shooting my deer and i watched him run through my scope reticle after i shot i was like did i shoot the wrong deer uh because i just saw antlers go through the scope reticle so uh, that deer is still out here um, I'm going out this morning with uh, my buddy Mike little mullet man he's he's been trying to hunt that deer actually and uh, I had texted him before before I came down here I was like if that deer steps out you okay if, if I take a crack at it he's like sure man that deer that deer needs to get down but he hasn't seen that deer in person yet and we're hoping that this morning he might get to see that deer um, and then we've got some other other deer that uh, we're trying to hunt as well. So I'm I'm done for the season. I'm now just helping everybody else, and that's just as fun. So let's go out this morning. We're going to try to help Mike, and uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna go out later with my dad. He gets here at noon. So enjoy the show. We are in the dark right now feeder's about to go off, but we're inside of the house. We've got that 6-8 Western set up over on, on that little opening. You can lay down, so it's, it's ready to go. Just need the deer to cooperate. y'all unsuccessful this morning with Mike trying to get after that deer but <sighs> there's others still lurking around and look who just showed up none other than LFD hey, hey. good to see you man what do you got there in your hand I bought uh, I thought you might want to shoot this this is your the first gun you ever bought that is. I don't know. I, if you I haven't opened that, that case in probably a decade. Uh, yeah, you bought this like when you were, I don't know, 14, 15 years old. No, I had to have been 18. That would have been illegal. <laughs> well, maybe so. 17 HMR bolt action with the bull barrel. That's a cool little gun, man. We got to shoot this thing. You think you can still hit something with it? I think I can. I don't know about you. So we are going deer hunting this week with dad and we're definitely not using the 17 hmr don't worry about that uh, dad is in love with this this brace built 308 and that's what we're going to use what he's confident in so confidence is key let's see who can hit that target first which one are you talking about the 200 yeah the 200 200 yards with the 17 hmr yeah all right you're on all right i'm going first well we'll see we'll see what 10 years sitting in the <laughs> attic will do. Uh, it's going like right by it. Ah, darn it. I went just over it, man. Okay, no hits. Well, well the rack leagues are... This is, this is not a good way to start the hunting trip. My, my confidence level is depleted. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, I'll tell you what will will drastically improve your confidence. Let's just move that 17. Just plop down that guy. You're guaranteed, guaranteed to have a good time up to 300 yards with accuracy. 
Missed. That's very disappointing. <laughs> 300 yards is a long ways. I, I mean, I just wanted to hit you with that confidence button. Just boom, get you going. 300 yards in that 70 is just going to look like a giant beach ball. Mm. You know what I mean? But it's all right. Well, hey. Just don't shoot him in the ass. Can we get to five? <laughs> hey, I, I have not shot him in the ass yet. Okay. That's true. You haven't. You have, uh, you, you're one shot perfect shots on the hog and the deer so yeah well i had good coach but <clears throat> that's a long ways that's 100 yards versus 300 i mean that's a that's a big deal now i did hit it you did i did you, you did earlier off camera but yeah that doesn't count on this channel okay let's go hunting and we'll see what we can that's do. where it matters that's right good luck good luck hopefully this 10 point comes to fruition I he's gonna show, he gonna show up where y'all are. So <laughs> just let me know when he does. I'll come over. <laughs> oh man, it's so funny. I was like, man, it's kind of it's kind of meant to be that uh, I let that deer walk out of frame so someone else can shoot it. So Mike's been trying to hunt it for a while. I'm hoping he gets it. But um, there is a really consistent seven point buck. I, I don't know what it is about seven points. I just love them. <laughs> and you got a seven point last year, I, I got sure a did. seven point yesterday. Alright, I'm gonna see what this blind looks like. It could have something living in it, so let's see what we got going on up here. There's nothing living up there, so we're good. There's only one chair. I'm just trying to get dead comfortable. I'm gonna have to sit in a little tiny seat. But this deer is like really consistent and he's a great deer to take. So I'm hoping that he shows up. There's also an absolute magnum hog that's coming up in here too. So my dad's happy with anything, but I wanna try to get him on a good deer and this is a good one. So let's get in there. Nobody comes out. Just hope the stand holds up. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little rickety. If you start jumping up and down in here, you might go through the floor. I gotta see. I don't think it's him. It's not him. This is definitely a cold bug right here. He's a six point with no brow time. This deer's been here a lot. I actually think it's the same deer that walked right by me the other day. Right by my blind on the ground. The other one we're still waiting on. He's just, uh, he's a lot of times in the pictures, in the trail cam pictures with this deer. And he usually pushes him out. So he's here first. I'm sure the other one's going to be here too. Thank you. 
jump sky. <laughs> you made a great shot. I hope so. It was starting to get dark. And I knew I had to do it. I mean, I could see him clearly, but, you know, in three minutes, I would not be able to. <sighs> Did you see when he jumped up? The light was off. Oh, my gosh. It was awesome. Nailed him in the shoulder. Good job. Good coaching. I don't. Good coaching. So he was he was quartering to you a little bit. So that's why I was telling you to go just a little bit in front. But I think you made a really good shot. <laughs> Got you. I just love this gun. <laughs> I know you do. It is sweet. Good job, Dad. I think Mike got one too, or somebody shoot. All right, let's go find this thing. <sighs> two years in a row, he got seven points. Oh man, I hope he's I hope he's down. I don't think he went far at all. Alright, ready to do a little looking? Whew, let's go, man. I'm ready. Alright, I'll let you lead the way. How'd you feel about it? How'd you feel about the shot? Oh, I felt good about it. Oh my god, he didn't go far at all. See him? Yeah. <laughs> You sure? You see him down? Yeah. There he is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he didn't go he didn't go ten yards. Oh my gosh, get that out. Good job, Dad. There yeah. you go. <laughs> How about Can that, you man? Believe that? We smoked him. Let's see where we got him. Shoulder. Let's see, you know, he was facing this way. Must have went right in. Did he die a heart attack? <laughs> no. <laughs> and you got him right there on the shoulder, I think. Yeah. You did a good job guiding. Thank you. <laughs> Don't have long to carry him. Uh, two years in a row. Two years in a row. And I've never killed one my entire life. Until last year. Yeah, until I was retirement age. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to you. Well, I'm glad we could do it, Dad. Yeah. Happy to do it. It's so fun. Woo! Now tomorrow we can go come back and kill that big old hog we saw last time. That's right. Yeah, the hunting's not over. Oh, but yeah. The buck hunt is done. Oh. All right, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Two years, two deer. You come out. I mean, actually, this year we tried. We tried a little bit harder. We went. Uh, I was really trying to get you on some some like giant call bucks that first time. We just never saw any, you know. But we only have a week left in the season. This is literally our last chance to hunt. So um, saw this guy. I saw he was like you know one of the dominant bucks around there it's not a giant deer but you know he's uh he's a good cold deer for out here i know you don't like me saying he's a, that. He's, he's a great deer for me <laughs> i know you don't like me saying that but um you know we've we've just got we've got so many bucks out here we saw nine different deer tonight at our blind it was it was an awesome sit and uh you know you were just shaking like a leaf yeah there. i got a little nervous right yeah. at the end as we were uh you know, the low, it was getting low light and my dad already told me, he's like, son, I, man, I, can't, I, I can't see that. I can't see that good. I was like, dad, can you, can you get on target? Can you get on target? And I knew it was pretty close and, and uh, he was going to hit the deer and he absolutely nailed it. It went, I think 12 yards. It jumped up really high and then just plopped right over. So nailed it, probably nailed it in the heart. Broke the shoulder with that 308, just perfect, man. Great deer. We've got uh, two refrigerators back at the, the Rackley family. Uh, well, your, ho your house, <laughs> and I live a mile down the road, and uh, I think this is gonna cap them off right here, these two deer that no. we got this week. So, no doubt. The no Rackley doubt. family, Stephanie, 
me and dad, we are done buck hunting, deer hunting for the season. And uh, now we're gonna go after some pigs and just kind of explore, have some fun out here. You said that this place and coming out here reminds you. Yeah, it reminds, it reminds me when I grew up, uh, deer hunting, quail hunting, dove hunting, uh, hunting on the land and harvesting and eating. And you know, we live in the Dallas Metroplex. So coming out here is a real treat. And two years in a row, I've got a seven point. That's right. I mean, might as well just keep it going, man. Lucky seven. So great deer. We're going to put it on the skinning rack, guys, break it down and do some recipes back home. So stay tuned. Man, Dad, anytime I get to have fun with you in the great outdoors. It's good it's, times. It's, it is great times. And uh, we've had some great adventures. And this is just added to the list. So man, go ahead and smash that like button. Father, son time. Good. We are getting it in. And thank you guys for, for staying tuned for all the outdoor videos. Uh, may God bless you in the great outdoors. Godspeed. We'll see you soon.